Delhi police have arrested a serial rapist. 38-year-old Sunil Rastogi is believed to have molested and raped at least 58 children in Delhi, Uttarakhand and in Uttar Pradesh. The accused, a tailor by profession, is wanted in at least seven cases according to the cops. But what is even more shocking, this beast was earlier arrested and then let off on bail. Priyank gets us the details. After the arrest of this pedophile, shocking details have come up which shows that since 13 years, the suspect used to come to Delhi from his native place and would have attempted more than 300 cases of sexual crime. Officially, Delhi police can only establish seven cases of sexual crime against him. The suspect has been sent to judicial custody. But once again, this case is bringing into light the lack of coordination on the database system of these kind of suspects in between various state agencies. It was December 13, 2016, when the first case of uh, child rape was reported in New Ashok Nagar Police Station. It, she was a seven-year-old girl, second-class student, quite intelligent, who could make a uh, graphic picture of the suspect. With the help of that, we developed information based on the CCTV recording and technical intelligence. We were just nearing to the criminal, but a couple of days back, two more cases of the similar nature were reported at the same time of occurrence and nearby places. So when we showed that picture, to the persons and to the child who were victim of the same, same type of the uh, crime, everybody said, yes, it is the same picture which is shown to us and uh, he was the same accused. So we were uh, quite sure that where we are going are on the right track. With the several jail villages of Delhi, NCR, Uttar Pradesh and Uttaranchal, we came to know that there was a jail village in uh, October 2016 whereby a pedophile was arrested by the Rudrapur police. When we showed the pictures of the same person to the different victims, uh, it was identified and criminal was identified. And thereafter, he was arrested. Till now, we are able to verify seven cases. And uh, I think a few more cases uh, uh, we should come. स्कूल से आ रही थी और वहाँ से पकड़ा और एक मकान में लेके गया वहाँ पर भी मतलब हाँ एरिया था और उसको मतलब जीने तक लेके गया वो तो ऊपर से सुकर और भगवान के ऊपर से कोई आ गया और उसको छोड़ दिया क्या बोल के ले गया था बेटी भाई ये बोल के ले गया कि आओ तुम्हारे पापा कुछ सामान देंगे और भाई उसने उन्होंने सोचा कुछ मेरे पापा सामान वामान देते होंगे वो चली गई उसने बोला कि मम्मी मेरे को ऊपर लेके गया ऊपर से कोई उतर रहा था उन्होंने फिर इसी वजह से छोड़ दिया कब का मामला था ये भी बताइए आप उसको मंगलवार का इसको बंद कर दीजिए मंगलवार हाँ बंद कहाँ जा रही थी क्या किया उसने तेरा ताई को मेरी बहन कॉपी लेने जा रही थी वहाँ पे एक आदमी आता है उससे बोलता है आपके पापा बुला रहे हैं तो फिर वो उसके साथ चले जाते हैं पापा का नाम सुनके फिर वो जीने पे ले जाता है उसके कपड़े उतारता है और उसके साथ गलत काम करता है फिर वो लड़की मेरे घर आती मेरी बहन मेरे घर आती है तो मैं इसे बोलते नहीं थी ऐसे ऐसे हुआ तो मैं दिल्ली पुलिस को फोन किया मैंने तो फिर उन्होंने उनको सब कुछ बताया उन्होंने सब क्या वो किया फिर वो पकड़ा गया क्या मारा पीटा भी था बहन को धमकी भी दिया था धमकी दी थी कि आपको मार डालूंगा से अगर आपने कुछ भी चिल्लाया या किसी को भी बताया सुनसान सुनसान जगह थी गली थी सुनसान जगह थी वहीं पे पकड़ा थी and reactions coming in on that horrific incident, let's listen in to Maneka Gandhi, Union Minister for Women and Child Development and Lalita Kumar Mangalam, Chairperson uh, of the National Commission for Women. Apparently he was arrested before in 2006 and I'm surprised that he's been allowed to even operate in society without any kind of um, check on him. For, for the last two years, I have been asking MHA that we need to have a national register of sex offenders and that needs to be available at every police station so that we know whom to keep, keep a check on. More important than that is that we need to have the victims complain. We cannot wait for 
a man like this to molest 500, 600, God knows how many hundred uh, people before he is accidentally caught. Now, I have opened up so many venues for children to complain. And I would like through you to, uh, to make this popular so that children will complain. We started something called eBox. Now, eBox exists in something called NCPCR, which is any child that has a problem with molestation of any kind should uh, go to www.ncpcr.org. There the e-box will open out and then they put in their complaint, their name if they feel like or how to contact them. And we will do the rest. Now last month we got 156 complaints from children. Each one of them has been addressed satisfactorily because I get a report at the end of every month. And I'm happy to say that we could you know, stop the molestation. Many children don't want police action taken because the offender is a relative, a father, an uncle, or a friend. But they certainly want the, the violence on them to stop. So in which case we were successful. But I would like more children to complain. So maybe we should use this incident as a peg, if the first child had complained, the 500th child would not have been molested. Um, these are some of the measures that you have been telling us. Are also, uh, is there going to be some stringent laws uh, going forward against them? We already have very stringent laws in POXO. The point is that those laws can only be applied if somebody complains. You know? and we ha I made a film two years ago which won the national award called Komal. Now that Komal film has to be shown yeah, in every place possible. Now we are showing it on television in all the children's channels. Mm -hmm. We have shown it on Doodashan all the time. We are showing it, uh, we have asked HRD again and again to show it in every school. If everybody could take the responsibility of showing this film, which is free on YouTube called Komal, it's just one minute, mm -hmm. it would uh, explain to children how they can deal with this. First of all, I'd like to make it clear that since this man is has been uh, raping um, girls and children under the age of 18, technically this does not come under the mandate of the NCW. So we can't take action on it like you expect us to. But I do condemn the fact that uh, because of the existing norms of society, because we don't teach our children from a very young age that they should learn to talk about anything uh, uh, that they feel bad about happens to them, our children are getting abused. Mm -hmm. uh, this man has taken full advantage of existing social conditions and the existing patriarchy and has been able to get away with crimes that, you know, uh, I don't know, I mean, there are no words to say how horrific these crimes must be. And I hope that the police, after having arrested him, don't just take uh, three years to bring him to justice. I hope the police and the courts move very swiftly to give this chap the worst possible punishment that should be given or can be given. You can watch live TV on our website mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash magic bricks now. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at magic bricks now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash magic bricks now.